what a God. What power. Why did he lavish such a universe upon a creature like us? Why isn't that overdoing it? What a universe. And what a God. God rejoices in the works of creation because they point us beyond themselves to God. If the work of God's hands is so abundant with power and wisdom and majesty and grandeur and beauty, what must God be like? What must the Creator be like if the flinging out of His fingers is so majestic grand and great and glorious. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in His works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to Him, for I rejoice in the Lord. In the end, it's not going to be the seas, it's not going to be the ocean, it's not going to be the deserts or the flowers or the mountains, it's not going to be spiders, it's not going to be the grand galaxies, it's going to be God Himself that satisfies the soul. Nothing short of God will do. The infinite expanses of the galaxies will not satisfy my longing for grandeur. Only the Maker Himself. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Yes.